Well, we've got some health news for you today. As women, the odds are stacked against us when it comes to bone health. It's not much better for men either. So Dr. Rob is in the house. He's got the long and the short list of bone health. So we're kind yes. of talking osteoporosis. Exactly right, Katie. We're talking about osteoporosis and osteopenia. Osteopenia being a thinning of the bone. Osteoporosis being a loss of the trabecular bone network, okay. the structure of the bone. And we have a picture to show so that you can actually see what that looks like. Now, on the left hand side of your screen, you see normal, healthy oh, bone. Oh, wow. See how nice and thick it is? Yeah. And very healthy and strong and vibrant. Well, the picture on the right is osteoporosis, and you see the holes in the bone. Sure. It's a weak bone, it's not strong, it's easy to break. And breaking bones in the elderly are a problem because. When you break a bone, the risk for morbidity and mortality goes up after that fracture. We all have a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle who slipped, who's fallen, sure. who's broken a bone, and then what happens? They end up in a nursing home, they get a pneumonia, and the next thing you know, they pass away. Which is a really awful it's thing. It's really a terrible thing. And what most people don't realize is that fractures from osteopenia, osteoporosis, kill more people each year than heart attacks, cancer, and strokes combined. You're kidding. No, the they don't talk about that. It's just not sexy. I mean, a heart attack, a stroke, it's more dramatic, but falling and breaking a bone, it's kind of like, eh, yeah. you know, you'll be all right, but not so. Very true. Yes. So there's things that you need to avoid okay. that you really want to keep out of your life to if you want to have healthy bones. Number one, reducing alcohol intake. Sure. You really don't want to drink a lot of alcohol. And hey, folks, it is 2016. It is time to stop smoking. Yes. Smoking is one of the worst things you can do for your bone health. Get rid of it. Oh, you don't need it's it. Gone. It's gotta go. Right. Yeah. Time to stop smoking. But there are things that you can do on a daily basis to actually help your bones. Okay. Things like taking particular vitamins. One of the most ones, that, important ones you can take is vitamin D with K2 in it. We have a little sample right here. Of course, you can take that. Then there's strontium. There's calcium plus ipraflavum. And a lot of people think you just need vitamin D and calcium. Mm -hmm. But when you actually look at the studies, if you just take those two, you will still lose between 3 and 5% of your bone mass You're every kidding. year. It only slows wow. the loss. It doesn't stop the loss. So you have to use a combination of therapies. The weight-bearing exercises, taking your vitamin D. Yeah. Yeah. K2, the calcium plus the ipraflavone, the strontium can help slow that loss. But when it comes to bones and actually putting the bone back in the bone if you've actually lost it, the studies show there's only a couple things that work and what those are are hormones. So For women, those. estrogen, progesterone, and get this, testosterone, very powerful, putting bone back into bone and even growth hormone. And when you look at the studies, the studies show that all forms of hormone replacement therapy actually put bone back in bone at a rate of 3 to 6 percent wow. every two years. So that's a huge yes, thing if you it's have. very important. Do we need to start this now? Is this something that I need to do at my age? Or absolutely. Do I do it later? That, okay. That's a great question. That's absolutely right. You need to protect your bones at an early age because once you lose them, you're, you're then behind that metabolic eight ball. You yeah. have to try and get the bone back in. And it's much easier to keep it than to put it back in. Very good tips, as always, from Dr. Rob. He's at renewhealth.com. Go see him. He'll get you all shaped up and ready to go. Get Thank those you. bones strong again. Get them strong. How's that? Yeah, strong? Very strong. Very strong.